Hey guys, it's Ginge. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make um, something that looks a lot like this. You can make it more advanced, but I just I just wanted to make something really quick. And I have to go find my charge. Hold on. Alright, I am sorry for that. Um, But um, today I was actually um, debating over whether to show you guys this tutorial or um, a tutorial on how to make a Twitter background. But I'm not very good at Twitter backgrounds right now, so... I figured I'd show you guys how to make this. Okay, so open Cinema 4D, and you can see everything we're going to need basically. Um, so right now I'm just going to delete everything. And first off, um, you're going to need iRobots, or not iRobots, his name is i 2 robot it's a robot. Um, you're going to need um, GFX pack, I like one of the GFX packs I've been. So I'll have the link for that in the description. I'll have his YouTube channel in the description. Um, so go sub him if you haven't. He's really good. He's got like 13,000, I think. He's got a lot of subs. Let's check it out real quick. I don't know why I'm checking it out, but who cares? He has 13,000. My computer wouldn't be stupid. And wouldn't lag on me. Ten thousand. Um. Yeah, he's really good. He makes tutorials all the time and stuff. So, um, go check him out. But you're gonna need a graphics pack by him, which has HDRI lights. H. HDR. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Basically, what it is is um. It's like cinema. Textures, or not cinema textures, like cinema lighting and stuff like that, and it looks really, really professional. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click MoGraph, MoText, um, go to your font, and the font I'm going to be using in this one is Graffiti. Oh, Graffiti one. Um, you could use any text though. I'm just going to use that, and then I'll type. Tutorial. Um, it doesn't have to be cap because this or caps locks or anything like that because this text is all capital. Um, <coughs> so what you're going to do is make the depth 100, and then you're going to want to um, click on it and then click Control C, Control V. All right now on the new layer, you want to make it 50 for the depth, and then you're going to want to drag it in a little bit just so you can see a difference between two layers. Okay. Now you're going to want to go to caps, fill cap on start and fill cap on end. Um, now what you want to do is go to the side of it so you can see the side of it. This is something I like to do with all of my 3D work but I don't see a lot of people do it but I think it looks more professional. So now all you're going to do is just raise the depth until you see it completely overcome the end of the first layer. It's right there. Alright. Now, if that didn't make any sense, I'm sorry, I'm kind of just rambling on. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to want to create two different materials. Alright. If my Cinema 40 would make making it. There we go. Alright. Um, on the first one, you're going to go to color. I'm going to be using, I think it's like turquoise maybe? Take a color like that. Um, and then go to reflection, take it, and go to texture, this little triangle here, and go to fresno. Alright, and then tune the blur, or the mix strength down to about 50. So, yeah, 50 looks good. And then just drag that on to the first layer. So it's like that. Alright, now for material, or the uh, other material, just click reflection, and that's all you do for this layer. Right? And then just drag that on to the next layer. Alright, now if you render that out, eh, it looks okay. It's a, it doesn't have a lot of shininess to it though. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to create a sky, and to create a sky you're just going to click this light thing right here, hold it down, and then hover over sky and then click it. Now you're going to want to make a new um, new material and then under color you're going to click 
these three dots over here under texture. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is where robots um pack comes into play. Um, you're going to want to go to the pack. So I have a whole uh, thing for resources. Um, I'm gonna click on that and then go down to HDRI lights. HDRI light or pack one. And I believe the one I used in the last one was 31. I believe so. So open it and then click yes. And yeah, I believe that's it. So just drag that onto the sky. Right. Now when you render it, <coughs> it's going to be really, really shiny. And I really like the look of that. So now, just click out of it. Go to your render settings. Uh, make the output 12, or make the width 1280 by 720 on the output. And then on save, make it a PNG and make sure to click alpha channel. If you don't click alpha channel, then you'll have this wood thing right here, and you'll have all of this in it, and you don't want that. So make sure that you click alpha channel. Um, um, what else? Is there anything else? Oh, and then find a place to save it. I have a, I have a whole um, uh, like folder for rendered out stuff, and I've mentioned that a lot of times. So I'll just make this um, tutorial. Um, you guys would click over here and then find a folder, you know what to do. It's pretty obvious. Right. And then just click your full render, or whatever that actually is called. And it's a pretty quick render because you only use three materials. And you didn't even use, need to use a light and it's so really shiny. So... Once that is done rendering, click on that, click it again, um, make a new file, make it whatever you want. Um, for this, that's the size of my actual desktop. But for this, I'll just make it 1280 by 720. Um, and it needs to open. There we go. Alright, so now what you want to do is Um, sorry Cruz, I love you. Um, so now what you're going to do is you're going to want to go to your gradient and you're going to want to click uh, on your uh, uh, foreground or primary, whatever color it is. You want to click, um, you want a light blue and on your background you want a darker, just slightly darker. Alright, and then make sure your shape is on radial. And then from the center, just drag to a corner. And that doesn't look very good. I'm gonna use a lighter, lighter blue. And then here I'll use a lighter blue as well. Lighter. That's good. So just click in the center again. Just drag out. Alright, that looks pretty good. Um, it's not, it's probably not very obvious for you guys, but there is, actually I could probably make this a little bit lighter to make it even better. Um, sorry I'm failing so bad right now. It's not early in the morning, actually, it's not early in the morning, it's 1.15 now, it's 1.15 in the afternoon, but who cares. Um, so there you go, that looks, that looks good, we want, I really like to a lighter, or a darker, but not, Start. All right. Now you want to make a new layer. Okay. And then find your rectangular slip uh, tool thing, and just drag a tiny rectangle in the center. Now go to your fill tool and fill it with white. And that's too big. Um, you don't want it to be too big, but you also don't want it to be too small. I'd say about that is good. So we'll go here and fill that. 
Alright, and then click your move tool and make it move the active layer and then just move the um select none sorry select none first and then click click on it and then click control and then just drag it down and that'll keep it even so it doesn't mess up at all. So drag it to about the center. Right. Now you're gonna want to go file open his layers and then you're gonna find the um Thing you just the thing that you just made. Um, I was like, oh, that was another thing that I made earlier. Um, and then you're just gonna drag that down. You can see that um, it doesn't have that wooden texture thing because I clicked alpha channel. So um, now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna duplicate this layer. And on the bottom layer, um, actually don't show the top layer. It'll make it easier in the end. But on the bottom layer, you're going to go to Filters, Blur, Motion Blur, and then make sure you have Radial, and the angle is 10. Alright, I'll just wait for that. Okay, and this does take a little bit of time, not too long, but hopefully it won't take too long in the process. But but while we're talking, uh, or while we're waiting, I'll talk about um, my contest. Hold on. All right, I'm back. Sorry. Um, okay, so I'm gonna not talk about what I was gonna talk about. Oh well. Um, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to make this layer soft light. Okay, and if you don't have it look like this, then something's wrong. It used to do this for me a lot. Like it wouldn't do it right. But after, when you do this, it won't work. So you have to make it soft light. I honestly don't know what to tell you uh, on how to fix it, but um, I'm sorry if it doesn't work. Okay, so now you can see that it does almost nothing, but duplicate the layer a few times, maybe 7, 8, 9, 10, and it'll make it really, really bright neon. Um, here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I think I had 10 in the last one, so two more. That looks good. And then show the original layer. And it gives it a really, really bright neon look. And it looks really cool. Okay. So now, um, don't show the original layer or um, the bar or the background. Just make it so you have all the soft light layers. And then merge them all together. Alright. And then it makes it a lot easier to manage and do whatever else you want to do with it. So that's basically it. Um, you can do more with it. Obviously, you guys can put brushes and stuff. I'm not very good with brushes. You can put texture. Um, you can put this on a YouTube background. It would look. I can't even imagine how cool this would look on a YouTube background. I've actually. I think I've actually seen this effect before. Um, for like Twitter stuff. Like people put this like follow me on Twitter and says this is the same color as the Twitter stuff. Um, yeah, speaking of, oh, hey, speaking of which, um, you guys should definitely go follow me on Twitter, I'll have my link in the description. Um, what was I going to talk about originally? Oh, I was going to talk about the contest. Okay, so again, today was the day that I was going to do the video announcing the winners, but for some reason I still only have one person that is sent in an entry, although I have like 20 people, and it's so real, <clears throat> say that they would do it. Um, but, yeah, so I'm going to extend it to either the 20th or the 25th, depending on how many entries I get. You know what? Actually, I'm not even going to send a date on it. I'm just going to say until I get five five entries, and then I will do it. If it's a year, if it's in a year, then so be it. It's in a year. But um, until I get five entries, I'm not um, going to, yeah, I'm not going to do it. You guys know what I mean. Okay, um... So that's basically it. Um, I'll have the link to the original video, and if you guys can hear that water, somebody just flushed the toilet, uh, or is washing their hands, whichever one. Um, do you want to change the color scheme to improve performance? Um, yeah, I'll do that in a minute, Windows. I don't know where that came from. But I'll have the original video in the description so you guys can go 
see that and see all the rules for the um for the contest. Thanks guys. Uh follow me on Twitter, raid, comment, subscribe, enter the contest, use this tutorial for all of your graphics needs and download I2 ro Obot or Robots pack and subscribe. That was a lot of stuff to say in five seconds. Alright, love you guys. Bye.